Heading up to the uh, campground today from where we were, <laughs> wherever that was. I forget them quick. We're going through part of the White National Forest and uh, White Mountain National Forest, excuse me. And uh, they've got uh, a lot of snowmobile paths noticed around here. And that explains it right there. So it's really been a pretty drive. The uh, average speed is 40 miles an hour. I think we hit one little section uh, that was 50 miles an hour, and that was for only like five miles or so. And then the rest of it's 40 miles an hour, 30 through towns, a lot of little towns, very pretty drive. The roads were really pretty good. There was only one little section that was uh, around Canaan, uh, north of Canaan, that was a little tough, but uh, very nice drive coming up here. Okay, we made it to Lost River Valley Campground. I think that's it. I think I got it right. So, a little busy on the highway, they said, but it sure is pretty. It'll die down at night. It always does. So we got a uh, spot 14T. We could have uh, gone back further if needed. Uh, it's the first time I ever unhitched and I was perfectly level up and down. Huh. Front to back. But the nice point is, look at this nice little lost river. This is awesome. The weather is perfect right now. I mean, just awesome. But we heard tomorrow is going to be uh, possibly rainy. So we're going to take a drive up White Mountain, Bethlehem, and up that direction in a little while here. Very easy drive. Uh, a little over, just a little over an hour coming up um, from our last spot, Muscoma Lake campground so we shall see what the drive is like i'll take a few snaps or videos for you if uh, needed but boy is this gorgeous or what we have electricity and water and ah, boy i can stay like this forever i may not leave we uh, came out of the campground uh, out on the highway and started east and then turned north on 93 and cars, motorcycles, we drove north to um, exit 40 and then you take a right and go towards, uh, oh, I kind of drawn a blank on the name, I'll put it down for you. This is Crawford Notch State Park, uh, Willie House Historical Site. And then you just keep coming on south. It is a beautiful drive. And they call this a notch because it's such a narrow valley. It really is nice here. So you can get out there and go down and have a picnic. This is about maybe an hour or so drive here. From the uh, highway up there and the snack bar if you're hungry you could have something but um, I'm not sure what all they got but Mount Willie up there and there are hikes around here that you can take different ones so there's a 10 minute walk behind the pond here and then you can branch off into some other uh, trails over here too this would be a good area for a stop for the day, take a short hike, maybe have a picnic lunch. It is really nice here. I think it'd be well worth the time. Well, I am very impressed. There's a playground here and tennis courts and even a pool or a pond reserved for guests you can come out here and rent a little boat 
five bucks an hour, half hour. Let those kids paddle away. You do have to cross the road to get over here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, wow. Why not buy the road? Huh? Charge a toll. Well, we got us a new neighbor. Hey, there was a Class A pulled in over on the other side over there. Uh, so Class A's can even get in here. Um, just need to navigate a little hill coming down into the campground. Um, so I'm going to wrap this up because the day is shot here with the rain. And we saw about everything we wanted to see. And um, I think it might be raining tomorrow. And of course we have to leave tomorrow morning. So uh, I'll call it good here. The uh, forecast... According to locals, one guy said one to two inches, another guy said three to four inches of rain tonight. So we'll see what it is. And one guy said 20 mile an hour wind. So I'm going to bring the awning in most all the way. I usually leave it out a foot or so. Um, but up at the camp store, the campground store, <clears throat> I went in there just a little while ago. I didn't go in when we checked in. But they've got uh, souvenirs in there, sweatshirts, t-shirts. They have all kinds of camping stuff, chairs, tents, uh, maps that you can put on the ground, sheets for the beds, uh, all, I mean, all kinds of stuff. And they have beer and wine in there. Not cheap, but uh, if you need it, they got it. Little propane bottles, you know, the one, one pound, uh, no, the one... Yeah, one pound. The ones that go on your little camper stove uh, for outside when you're cooking. But uh, very, very nice people. And if you want to know where to go and how to get around here, ask them. Um, we took a trip yesterday up towards White Mountain. And uh, the guy said, avoid Conway. And do avoid Conway. It is an absolute zoo. It's a nightmare. It took us a half hour to go through Conway, and I'm going to bet that it's all that. If, if you go on a weekend, forget it. You are going to be very, very, very frustrated. Uh, so don't take that uh, go through town. He said there was a uh, a uh, bear, bear Notch, I think he called it. I'll put it in if I can Bear Creek Notch or something in there to avoid Conway and take a very scenic tour. And it was beautiful the way he told us to uh, go up 93 and get off at exit 40 and turn towards the east and come back down. And it was beautiful. Oh my goodness, such a gorgeous trip. So do take that route if you're going to do it. Well, wish us luck. Of course, it won't do any good. We have zero internet here zero cell service <laughs> here as well. You might get a spotty one every now and then. If you had a cell booster, you might get one or two bars. But uh, I'm uh, not looking forward tonight. Uh, heavy rain is, as everyone knows, very loud on a camper. So we shall see what the night brings through. Heading out towards Barrie, uh, Vermont, to see some friends. And then over to whatever the next state is. I'll, I'll, I'll put a message down in here for you. So we'll see what this river changes into tonight. And, uh, well, in the morning. I'm not getting up at night to look at it. So you guys have a safe one out there. Be careful around heavy water flows. <laughs>